Hello and welcome again to our inspirational pop-up on a Monday. Hello to South Africa, my dear Bridget. Hello, hello. We have such a wonderful subject to talk today because we know all it's interesting times, I would say, not difficult times, but interesting and challenging times. And so many people ask us as well how we hold this energy and because we like it, we are like this, but we also know happiness takes work or happiness is work. How do you mm. think about this? Yeah, I mean, that it just resonates with me. I'm on this, uh, this quest at the moment, you know, it's kind of like a theme running through my life where, where I just look at my life and I'm so grateful for the things I do have. And yet I do find life a roller coaster. Like I find that, you know, the, the, the lows go low and then the highs can get pretty high. And I just, and I sit with that and I, and I research on that and, I'm, and I wonder like, why is that? Why is that when, when from the outside, everything is pretty fine and okay, why is it that something just doesn't feel nice? Like, why don't you feel happy all the time? Um, Did you so get that's why this, huh? Did you get an answer for that? Well, I did. I think, I think the, the focus is working on yourself. I think a lot of it is going inwards. So you might have all those things on the outside, but I think it really is about focusing on inward. Like what can you improve on? Right. So one of the things that somebody said to me today was that when something didn't from a work perspective, when something wasn't quite going the way that they thought or had hoped, it makes them feel hmm, almost like not worthy, like not validated. So I think something like that is when things don't work out from a, say, a, you know, a new client or something like that, it's not about how good you are. It's more about the fact that that's not the right person for you, but having enough belief within yourself that you don't need that validation, something like that, you know, so your self-worth comes from inside. Right. That is so important because as well, if you don't feel happy at one moment, that's what I learned as an emotional coach. So then when you give it, give room to that feeling that is not the best, then when it really comes bigger and bigger and you really feel it, what it is, sometimes it occurs from former times. Sometimes it's just the thing what really touches you, but if you really feel it, then it turns around and then you have another feeling that is much more calmer or yeah gets more lightness or freedom or whatever it did depends on the person yeah but i also did this inner work last week with one of my friends who is also a coach and it was so amazing because i had like a really felt pain in my in my junks and in my yeah muscles as well and then it turned around and i had this feeling of such a colorful life that i'm sparkling <laughs> i don't know whatever it was yeah so it's so and then you feel the happiness again but if you have this diving through different um levels of emotions then it's such a yeah, it much more conscious happiness than before. This is also a very good things. And when you make yourself conscious about your decisions and about your feelings, it's a happiness that gets stronger and stronger. And the moments of kind of a depression or stuff like that are more raw or rara. I don't know how you well, say. For me, it, it is a big thing about not caring about other people's opinion. I was listening to a podcast today about Tom Brady and Tom Brady, you know, I mean, you know, everyone, everyone knows who Tom Brady is, right? And he's married to the most, one of the most beautiful women in the world. So you think, perfect, perfect. And he was saying that um, he kissed his son. I think it was his son on the lips and it went viral. And people were like, what is this? How is this? Whatever. And so Oprah said to him, does that bug you that people are questioning your, you know, your affection to your son and kissing him on the lips? And how could you do that? And he was like, to be quite honest, I don't care what people think about me. I know what I'm about. And that's a big thing. If you know what you're about, people can say whatever they want. It doesn't matter what other people say about you. It really doesn't. It, 
And that is also a sign that you are really good centered and also good with yourself. And that brings you happiness as well. If you are present and honest to yourself and really not caring about what other people say. But I also know from former times that it's not so easy, you know, because you are you were always depending because you check yourself. How 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 are you? How worthy are you if the other people like you or not? And I think even if you have a time where you don't feel very well and there you learn that you have to first love yourself before um, it's important what the others say about you. But if you are in a kind of a depression or kind of a bad mood, it doesn't have to be a depression, no? then it triggers you more what other people say. That's always think, the thing. I think also when you become too self absorbed about what other people think about you that's a perfect opportunity to do something that's not about you so get involved in volunteer work get involved in the community do something that for that time you're not thinking about yourself because when you're focused on other people and their well-being you don't focus on whatever's going on what what are people saying on facebook or what are people connecting with you on linkedin you, you, you just don't care because you've got so many other things going on you know that's a good place to start i think yeah And this is always what you experienced, what me experience, what I experienced. Now you're working for say yes. I was working for Zip Zap at Cape Town in Cape Town and in other parts of the world, bringing happiness to kids in my case, and you're bringing happiness to adults or almost adults. And this is so good. If you when you don't feel well and not happy, give as much as you can to other people, and it turns you happy as well. It brings you closer to yourself. And a big thing with that for me is honesty. I think if you're always honest, honest to yourself, honest to other people, then there is nothing eating you up. You're never going to bed at night with something eating up your conscience. You're never feeling bad about something. You know, you are, it doesn't matter how, how hurtful or painful it is to be very honest. I think honesty is so important. So everybody knows what's going on. Right, yeah. And what do you say? Do you have a sentence in your heart or so where you can say happiness is for you? For me, happiness is freedom. For you? For me, for me happiness is life. Mm. Yeah. Oh my God, Bridget, this is such a, I like this, this, uh, yeah, this feeling of happiness so much. And I think, I think so many other people as well. And we always know it's like juggling with, with every challenge you have in life but if you yeah bring it in, into a nice rhythm then happiness works and it was worth and, the work and it's a conscious choice so it's work but it's a conscious choice to be happy because it's very easy to complain and moan so right. it's a choice you need to make within yourself that you want to be happy yeah that's so right because there are so many people i realized when i did my coaching training that they are so in their comfort zone of uh, being unhappy and just saying oh these are my problems and so because they don't know the word the way out it's so that they don't do the step out of the comfort zone because that it's so known where they are mm. but it's so magical if you do a step out and you learn how to yeah live your happiness right yeah absolutely yeah And I'm so happy when I think of my vision that we are doing a live seminar in Cape Town together with this wonderful Airbnb, what I've just posted in the Facebook wow. group. And so we are keeping doing this um, in this year. We are hoping it's possible even of this crazy times. So I don't know, okay. October, December, somewhere around that we are meeting in Cape Town and everybody yeah. who wants to come with us, just send us a message. Yeah. Absolutely. With this in your heart, we wish you all a wonderful week and see you next week with full of inspiration. Thank you. Bye.